very warm welcome from Ars Electronica, especially here from the Ars Electronica Center for a new home delivery session and especially of the series Inside the Festival. Ars Electronica Festival is starting next week. Next week on the 9th of September until the 13th of September we will kick off the festival here in Linz but Linz is just a small spot in all these spots that are existing worldwide because we have 120 partners in the world uh, celebrating with us the Ars Electronica Festival and actually sharing with us their interesting moments, their experiments, their artistic projects, their residency works, whatever our partners in the world are in the moment actually are doing and they are sharing it with our community here in Linz and with our community in the world. I already mentioned it, 120 partner. I mean, imagine this, 120 destinations actually, sorry, <laughs> I have to say. And I think it's something 160 partners all in all. So uh, it's really a huge festival that we will kick off uh, virtually, but also uh, physically in these uh, different locations in the world. We're here today. Uh, next to me is Laura Welzenbach. I'm Manuela Navo. We're both in charge of different projects in the world. And today we would like to introduce you to three gardens, as we call it, because it's called Ars Electronica Gardens. Um, I will introduce you the garden of uh, San Sebastian and Laura will introduce you to the gardens uh, in of a science gallery in Dublin and of Fakugesi in Africa. Laura, what can we expect <laughs> in Johannesburg? Yes, thank you so much Manu for the introduction and for welcoming the viewers uh, online at the moment. Uh, we will travel to Johannesburg to our partners there. The Fakugesi Pan-African Garden hosts a program for many South African organizations. It is a collaboration between uh, the Fakugesi African Digital Innovation Festival, the Pan-African Creative Exchange, Blumenfeld, Fristad Arts Festival, I hope I pronounced these names correctly, and uh, University of Free State Program for Innovation and Art Form Development, and actually many, many more. The pandemic crucially shaped their contribution for this year's festival as meeting, creating and collaborating more and more shift, shifted to the digital field. One example that I want to mention now is their online exhibition, Virtual Blackout, Experiments in the Future of Form. For this project, more than 30 producers, theater makers, writers, directors, puppeteers, actors, scenographers and digital artists worked together on five online artworks in only two weeks time, by the way, I just realized. Um, as a visitor on their website, you're able to explore these five artworks, which are completely different in their aesthetics and stories. They use different tools to convey their thoughts and ideas in a serious as well as fun manner, actually. You can explore short films, poems, Instagram face filters, zoom in and out of bodies, see the crafts of puppeteers and dive through that in the colorful world of what these artists created. <laughs> Thanks. Um, this is only one program that you can see from the uh, Pan-African Garden. Uh, and to get an insight of how their world looks like, we can see the best of, of their last year's festival, the Fakugesi Festival. Have fun. <laughs> It's inevitable to be third world when your name has been extracted from your tongue and its gravitas unearthed from your mind. With fragments in our hands, attempted recreating beauties lost to the sleeping moon. Africa, you are the essence of innovation and origin of civilization. How have you forgotten the root of all life? Festival 
is all about digital art, digital innovation, um, looking at really cool projects and displaying them and showcasing all of the talent that South Africa and other African countries have to offer. It's a meeting place for content creators, technologists, VR enthusiasts. Fakugesi is the springboard of revival in Africa. I feel like this is a good place to come and meet people, network, see amazing work, be inspired, plot and scheme, and also learn basic technical things from people that know a bit better. Own Your Force as a festival slogan was really pertinent to us because we're doing a project about space and how people claim space in neighborhoods through technology. So to own your force, I think, for us, was also to look critically at that technology. Africa. The first human words were spoken by you. You cradled mathematics, rocked navigation, pressed paper from papyrus reed, burped pyramids, were visionaries before we were accredited. So we exhale the future. So what I created was a research booth on Vaporwave. It's very nostalgic, very glitchy art. So what I did for a festival is to present an ecology of sounds, memories and rocks. To tell the story about rocks as proxies of territories floating in the space, but they, they belong together. One of our initiatives is called Giving Poetry Wings. I got poets and digital artists to come together to create artworks that relate to poetry, but have an augmented reality feature. Africa. Exponential innovation and thinking for you was not a program incubated in a hub. It was your communal daily bread. Imagination, the language with which we spoke to each other. Fear irrelevance brewed by old knowledge. Fall in love with the future you have not kissed. What has really inspired me throughout the conference is the fact that people have started looking at the creatives, art and tech as a business. Because as much as we want to work in our own small silos, one day those silos need to grow out. So this marathon that we're running now during Fagugezi is looking at inner city kids and how we can give them exposure to the animation industry. Today we're doing a cross-sector game jam. The aim is to allow people who are involved in different sectors like music and arts and animation and programming to get together and make a game together and come up with something that's really cool. Johannesburg is at the heart of the continent, brimming with potential, youthfulness. So therefore, this festival, I would guess, opens up opportunities for that interdisciplinary, inter-institutional collaboration. I think uh, WhatsApp groups and the way they configure and reconfigure neighborhoods as places that some people belong and some people don't is really important. This is a very emerging, intimate surveillance culture and we need to be watching out for it. So we are working with students from University of Johannesburg Industrial Design to learn about how you could use wearable technology as a tool to go out to map different things about the city. This festival is so wonderful because it's important to play with process and that's what I thought this market is going to be the perfect place to play with process. Caleb Now Now is a British Council residency scheme. It's an open call for artists and storytellers between 18 and 35 across Africa and in the UK. People are selected from each region and come together and create a hopefully amazing work in collaboration with one another. Collab Now Now is forcing me to interact with people and to see how their knowledge and their skills can contribute to my work and how I can also help in that exchange. Fakugese is starting to attract really interesting partners where it can start being a marketplace where people can connect, especially in terms of owning what we have as Africans and selling it and training it in a way that's meaningful to us. I think Fakugese is playing a huge and important role in being the renaissance of change in Africa. Africa. Set your own table before the world. 
Deck it with your own systems. Feast on your force to drape descendants with a power. Not all that is foreign is greater than your own. Hone your force. Own your ish. In addition, actually, we can mention, and we have to mention, that Tegan Bristow, who is actually the director of Fakugesi Festival, is a very dear collaborator with Ars Electronica. She was uh, advisor for the digital communities uh, category of pre Ars Electronica, and we are very, very happy that we actually continue in our collaboration and maybe even uh, explore other ways and more ways to collaborate. Um, the next project is also a very dear friend of Ars Electronica. It's the uh, Ars Electronica Garden in San Sebastian in the Tapacalera. Tapacalera in uh, San Sebastian is a tobacco factory and uh, the director, the, the, the artistic director and program director there, Clara Montero, um, is a very dear friend, as I mentioned. She was a collaborator with Ars Electronica since a very long time. She is a, um, a facilitator of media art, digital art uh, in Spain. She is very much into, uh, into forms and actually artistic expression in the intersection with uh, technology and sciences. And she is uh, very interested in collaborating with Ars Electronica as she is now uh, directing uh, artistically the Tapacalera. And for this she came to us last year and mentioned, well, look, we have now the possibility of the Tapacalera, which is now five, since five years it's open again because it was renovated, let's do something together. Of course, we started again our collaboration. It was um, the first uh, project that we actually did was more or less uh, consultants um, about the new media lab that they are uh, developing and that they were developing. And um, the first things that uh, Clara mentioned to me was like, look, in San Sebastian, it's raining a lot. So a lot of people are actually coming to Dabacalera and we have to, to give them something. We have to tell them stories. We have to um, include them in ways that they maybe normally are not included, especially into artistic exploration, scientific explorations. And um, let's see what Clara is telling us what they are now actually running in San Sebastian. Tabacalera is the center for uh, creation and exhibition of different forms of art located in San Sebastian in the Basque Country, in the old tobacco factory of the city. Some months ago we decided the fusion of the creation library and the labs. And the fusion of both is the new media lab that we opened in July. We want to uh, launch creative projects in the intersection of uh, arts, science, technology, and based on collaboration. Due to our interest in astronomy, outer space, and all these big questions where we, we as, as yeah, everyone came from, we were invited to come here to talk to local astrophysicists and cosmologists who are based at the Donostia International Physics Center. And the whole program is set up as a collaboration between the Tabacalera, especially the Media Lab in the Tabacalera, and also enabled by the Ars Electronica Center in Linz. We thought that Ars Electronica was going to be the most interesting and helpful partner. So we approached them to collaborate with them. They were very helpful, so this new Media Lab has been also developed uh, together with them. It's really a lot about collaborating, about 
coming here, having a project, sharing the data, making it public and accessible, and basically trying on a very transparent and social level uh, to enable people to do something that they couldn't do at home because they lack the resources or the knowledge. Mm. Um, and I guess um, on a more, let's say, closed or more professional, which unfortunately very often is more closed um, level, the idea is that we come up with an installation that is based on a collaboration with a local community. The interesting thing is this astronomer group, um, they face the problem that it rains a lot in San Sebastian. It's very often cloudy, so if you want to watch the stars, that's obviously a disadvantage. Uh, so this is why they actually started and also planning to work with radio astronomy. Uh, which is very interesting for us because we've been wa we're working with, with radio antennas and this kind of data that comes out of it quite a lot recently. Uh, so having a collaboration with them kind of would be a win-win situation where they actually get to build antennas that we could pay from our budget and we actually gain access to a lot of research that they did, which partially goes deeper than what we've been able to do so far. Uh, it is also a special project for us because it's going to be one of the highlights of the program to celebrate uh, the fifth anniversary of Tabacalera. Tabacalera was reopened as a cultural center after being, uh, after having been a tobacco factory for so many years. It was reopened as a cultural center in 2015, and in September we are going to celebrate the fifth anniversary. And it is a very happy coincidence that the weekend of our celebration is going to happened during the weekend of the Ars Electronica Festival, so that this work that we are doing with Quadrature is going to uh, be also part of the Ars Electronica Festival, and this is also very uh, special for us. We're, we're, we're feeling the pressure, but we're also very, very, very happy. <laughs> Supraspectives uh, is the name of the installation that uh, Sebastian Neitsch and Juliane Götz were in the moment talking about. Uh, you've seen it, you've heard it. Uh, it will be a wonderful installation that will have its premiere on the, f on the 12th of September at the Tabacalera and we will go live of course with Tabacalera. So Sebastian, Juliane and Clara will uh, be connected with us here in Linz and we will talk about their festivities and about the installation that uh, Sebastian and Juliane were actually realizing together with the Donostia International Physics Center. And this collaborations between art and science is something that will go on in uh, San Sebastian. We will continue another residency that we're in the moment developing. I talked to Clara, I'm allowed to uh, mention it already, it will be about food fictions. So we will invite artists to work on future food, on food fictions, and uh, we are, yeah, let's see what will come out within the next year. Um, when it comes to the collaboration between artists and scientists, I would like to hand over now to Laura again. Yes, thank you so much. Um, it's interesting because uh, we have many collaborations between artists and scientists and the scientists often work in a university context. And so it's the case also with our next destination. Uh, it's a science gallery in Dublin. And we travel kind of to Ireland, but also kind of because Science Gallery International is an international network where many different universities collaborate with organizations on an engagement level. So Science Gallery in Dublin is the headquarter of Science Gallery International and uh, it's the world's only university network dedicated to public engagement with science and art. Universities in Dublin, London, Melbourne, Bengaluru, Venice, Detroit, Rotterdam and Atlanta are parts of the, uh, members of this network. I definitely needed a list for that. <laughs> Their mission is to ignite creativity and discovery where science and art collide. We can again see the 
the parallels here between the different projects. And we are excited that the whole network is part of this year's program. Science Gallery is also a long-time collaborator of Aus Electronica. STEAM education outside the classroom is only one factor that uh, connects our organizations here through and beyond EU projects. Their garden will show a wide range of online activities. Mairead Hurley, Head of Research and Learning, and Jane Gleason, Events and Community Manager, will tell us more now about Science Gallery in general and also their program at the festival. Hi, and welcome to the Science Gallery Garden at Ars Electronica Festival. We're here in sunny Dublin. Our garden has its roots in the green grass of Ireland, but its branches spread across four continents. The Science Gallery Network consists of leading universities united around a singular mission, to ignite creativity and discovery where science and art collide. Our network members are located in Dublin, London, Melbourne, Bengaluru, Venice, Detroit, Rotterdam, and Atlanta. And our festival program is curated across these locations. Each of our eight galleries in the Science Gallery Network are committed to bringing science and art together to deliver world-class educational and cultural experiences for young people. Science Gallery exhibitions and events feature emerging research and ideas from the worlds of science, art, design and technology in thought-provoking ways. This worldwide garden will explore trust, technology, global challenges, arts innovation, and new forms of digital storytelling. You'll be able to participate in live streamed events, interactive online workshops, and experimental audio and visual art. We're here in Science Gallery Dublin in front of our current exhibition, Invisible, which recently became visible to the public. This exhibition, which explores the mysteries of our universe, originated as dark matter in Science Gallery London at King's College London. As part of our festival programme, Science Gallery London presents a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the process of the history of dark matter retold, which was created by Abby Annie Michael and Laura Joy Peters. This sci-fi art documentary looks into the unseen presence of black women in science while channeling the spirit of Vera Rubin, who is known for discovering dark matter. Following on from the theme of Invisible, go behind the scenes again with exhibiting artists Andy Holden and Thais Pearster in two studio visits along with an online walking tour of Dublin, Dublin's tech infrastructure and a discussion featuring international artists, academics and activists focused on the complexities of our material and networked world at Science Gallery Dublin. Join us for a citizen's thinking on artificial intelligence developed by the ADAPT Centre for Digital Content Technology in collaboration with Science Gallery Dublin and our industry partner, The Doc, Accenture's flagship R&D and Global Innovation Centre. Participants will be able to join multi-stakeholder groups to explore scenarios including data storage and dissemination in the digital age and the ethical questions that come up around these topics. We'll also look at the ways that the arts, humanities and social sciences can help us to navigate these complex moral decision-making scenarios in relation to science and technology. This event is part of the Artificial Intelligence Lab project, which is a network of cultural institutions across Europe, including Ars Electronica, who are exploring the relationship between art, technology and ethics. We're also part of other European projects including System 2020 and Open Science Hub, both of which focus on learning. And as part of these projects, we've developed a reflective workshop for our festival program, in which you'll be able to create your own zine, which is going to be a reflective artifact, helping you to reflect on your experiences, thoughts, hopes and dreams during the coronavirus pandemic, and to creatively imagine the role of technology in sharing and connectivity in our future. Elsewhere in the Science Gallery Garden, we'll find new ways of understanding life, loss and mental illness through literature and music at Science Gallery Atlanta. While Detroit will present design in a time of urgency, exploring the future of design and its impact on humanity. In Venice, we'll delve into the delicate artistic process from the Renaissance to contemporary times in the art of text. 
Sun Gallery Rotterdam brings us into the curious terrain between the actual and the perceived through their exhibition Unreal, including topics such as human-machine hybrids and female sperm. The Science Gallery Garden also exists under the sea. Melbourne presents the Seaweed Salon Workshops, Field Trip to an Alternate Seaweed Reality, while Science Gallery Bengaluru presents Submerge, Rethinking Our Relationship with Water. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. We hope you enjoy our garden, and we hope some of the seeds we've sown will blossom and flourish. We have now introduced you to only three gardens, and you have to imagine we have 120. And then you have to imagine that within these five days, from the 9th uh, to the 13th of September, we are all doing our festivals in the world at the same time. Yes, it's <laughs> incredible actually. And I think it's also like super interesting to see how we will create like something like a festival feeling and a festival network, which is, of course, it has to be completely different because of the digital character. And I'm super excited about exploring new formats here and uh, opportunities. And it most likely will work very well in some cases, but also not in others. It's a learning opportunity and that's, uh, that's the exciting part about it. Absolutely. It's a new way of uh, celebrating and kicking off a festival. And, but we will do it. And we will have the festival feeling. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Next week. We'll see, you, uh, we'll see each other online. <laughs> Bye. Bye.